Welcome. Yes. This is Global 3.12. Beautiful, beautiful. Dom, stop laughing. My cameraman Dom is just, he cannot stop laughing at the beauty. Dom, you put the computer away. I can't even see myself being awesome right now. This is amazing moments in global history. Mm. We're listening to the Beatles, by the way. Yes. And today we learn about Buddhism. Uh, a historian would want us to know that Buddhism was started, of course, with Buddha himself, Siddhartha Gautama. Now, I am not Siddhartha Gautama. My name is Jay, so I will be Siddhartha Jaytama. And I want you to listen closely to my stories. Do you like my hat? I love my hat. My hat is beautiful. It is like Buddhist hat. Not really, but it really looks great anyway. Perfect. And Siddhartha Gautama, he was very royal. He was rich like Prince. Not the artist, not the rock and roll artist Prince, but like a Prince. And I am Siddhartha J. Tama, and I would like to tell you, I grew up in a very rich town. The town was amazing. But as I lived in that town as a child, the town was called Niskiyuna. And as I lived in that town, oh boy, unbelievable. I couldn't believe it. All these rich kids that I grew up with, do you think they were ever happy being rich children at home? They never seemed to be happy. I mean, they would have moments of happiness like any other child, but being rich and wealthy did not seem to bring them happiness that would not go away. And I always thought to myself, well, that is very strange. They have lots of money. They have a beautiful house. Their dad drives a wonderful automobile. Look, my feather can bend. It's a nice bending feather. And uh, this did not seem to make them very uh, happy for a long time. And so I went out in search of the meaning of life. And I sat under a fig tree and I meditated. And you know what I discovered, grasshoppers at home? You know what I discovered? I discovered that being wealthy does not translate to being happy. But being poor also does not translate to being happy. And I discovered that I must take the middle way. Don't have to be too rich. Don't have to be too happy. Must take the middle way. Because there is a mistaken belief, grasshoppers. And the mistaken belief is that things can last forever. Nothing lasts forever. Your happiness does not last forever. Your misery does not last forever. Our bodies do not last forever. The very desk I sit on, does it last forever, grasshoppers? I think my accent is going all over the place now. I don't even know what accent I am using anymore. The, even the desk I sit on, even the fig tree I sit under, see, fig tree. Even the fig tree I sit under does not last forever. And we have a mistaken belief as humans that things could last forever. That if I achieve some type of happiness, I could make that happiness last forever. And I cannot. I cannot do it. What we must actually do, grasshoppers, is we must focus on our own personal spiritual development and not trust in other things in life to make us happy. We only have ourselves to rely upon in order to be happy and achieve eternal happiness. And I will provide some deep insight for you today. The same insight that Siddhartha Gautama provided to his followers, the great Buddha himself provided to the Buddhist followers, I, Siddhartha Jaitama, am going to provide great insight into your life. Because this is the first thing that we must know. There are four, count them, uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Oh, wait, that's Spanish, wait. There are four. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Oh, wait, that's German. There are four great noble truths in life. And I'm going to share these four truths with you now. If my cameraman would please direct over to the four noble truths. 
And you must write these in your notebook and you must understand them and you should meditate on them. You should find your own fig tree and think about these four noble truths. The first noble truth of Buddhism is that there is suffering in the world. Everybody has moments of suffering. That we cannot deny. Cameraman, what makes you suffer? Oh, me, cameraman. What? Looking at yourself in a mirror? Yes, I agree. That makes me suffer too, cameraman. There is suffering in the world. If we think about it, everybody suffers. Even those rich kids that grew up with everything that I grew up with before I went to meditate under the fig tree, they were suffering. Even I was suffering as a rich prince. Even the poor people are suffering. Everybody is suffering it's from something. And that brings us to the second noble truth. The cause of all suffering. And I want you to really think about this from a Buddhist Siddhartha Jaitama point of view. The second noble truth is that the cause of all of this suffering is the same thing. It is what the great Buddha calls tanha. Everybody at home say tanha. That means you have to turn your microphone on. Tanha. Why? Ah, yes. Very good. At least one person is still tuned in. Everybody else is taking a Snapchat video of me. I know. I know that is what is happening right now. It's being shared across the universe for sure. Okay. And uh, yes, the, the cause of all suffering is tanha, which the great Buddha referred to as a craving or a desire that things can last forever. Now think about that, right? Like uh, perhaps in, uh, I will use an example from my life. From my life, one of the things that has caused me great suffering could potentially be like the loss of my father. But why did that cause suffering? Because I had the desire that my father would live forever, right? That it was a mistaken belief that he could live forever. And yet that cannot happen. And so that craving, that desire to have something last forever that brought me happiness, that is tanha. That's a serious example. A less serious example might be like a bowl of ice cream. Mmm, ice cream. And I could have a bowl of ice cream and I have an unreasonable craving to have that ice cream last forever. But can a bowl of ice cream last forever? Oh, no. Oh, no. A bowl of ice cream cannot last forever. That bowl of ice cream will be gone someday, some moment, probably like in 30 seconds because I eat fast. And then I have a desire for more ice cream. But can I keep having ice cream and more ice cream forever and ever? No, that is tanha. And that is the cause of all of our suffering in this world. The third noble truth is that if there is a cause for suffering, like tanha, then there must be a way out of tanha. There must be a way to get rid of it. It's kind of like going to a doctor. If my arm hurts, there is a cause. Perhaps it is because I broke it. And if I go to a doctor, they go, oh, you broke your arm. And then we undo the broken arm and they set it and put it in cast. And then it gets better. And there is a way out of that suffering. And the third noble truth is that if there is a cause of suffering called tanha, then there must be a way out of suffering as well. I do not know what happened to the accent again. It's all over the place. And that leads us to, last but not least, the fourth noble truth, noble truth number four. Noble truth number four is that I, and the cameraman can come back to the great Siddhartha Jaitama now. I, the great Jaitama, have found the way out of suffering. I can help each of you, if you listen to my insights, I can help each of you find your way out. And the way that we do this is to follow the eightfold path. That's eight. In German, it'd be acht. In Spanish, it's ocho. This is the eightfold path 
there is a path kind of like getting going out my front door and getting to the driveway. I have to follow the path from my front door to the driveway. Sometimes maybe cow follows path, right? Like cow's very hungry. He follow cow path to food, right? It's a path out of suffering. And we must follow this eightfold path in order to get out of our suffering caused by tanha. We tune in tomorrow in Great Jaitama. Join me again. I will teach you tomorrow about the eightfold path and how to get out of your suffering from tanha. Thank you very much. I, of course, must have some exit music. Yes. That's it. Wonderful. That is my lesson today. Oh, wait. I, 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 got, I don't have to be the great Jaitama anymore. I just go back to the Danish Conley. I'm going to take off my awesome Jaitama hat. Yes. I can't wait for future classes when I have more than just one kid.